interest of your safety and the safety of those around you, please adhere to the following directions. Do not attempt to leave your snowcat at any time unless the attendant directs you to do so. Please hold on to the handrails provided as the journey will take you across bumpy and sometimes hilly terrain. In the case of an emergency, please await the instructions of the attendant as they are highly trained and will be on hand to help you. The flash on your camera needs to be turned off so as not to disturb our penguins. No, 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 don't, oh, don't. It's, it is working with flash. No, don't. I'm saying no, don't take any pictures. I'm recording. Did you just take a photo of me? No. Oh, I, yes. I, I'm just trying You're to... You're going to post it on YouTube. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was kidding. looking at you when you did that with flash. But I was I'm just checking like, oh, no. is the flash working or not? Oh, right. I want to take a photo. No. Yes, I want to. Can you please remove the flash mode? Please. Uh, there we go. Light out yeah. conditions such as you're experiencing now are common in the Antarctic. They are caused by a combination of strong wind and ice. The disorientation and extreme cold mean that your only option is to stay in one place. These conditions were the ones in which Captain Scott and his companion spent their final day. Stuck inside their tent, they ran out of food, only one day's walk from their next supply depot.
want me to close it? No, not yet. signatories to the 1961 Antarctic Treaty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A simple document, yeah, the treaty right, protects Antarctica and states that it should continue to be used exclusively for peaceful purposes while ensuring freedom of science and scientific exchange. Humans are aliens in Antarctica and it still remains a vast wilderness which very few people have the opportunity to visit. Despite this, the hope remains that all humans will continue to preserve this remarkable place. Well, 